Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Diane Dobson Barton. Today I'm going to do a an unboxing. I ordered some art supplies. There's three things in here. I'm a little worried because I have some oil pastels in here and it's been really hot in Kansas. So I hope they arrived okay. I decided to take the chance. I don't know if it was the smartest decision, but so let me go ahead and open this up real quick. Okay, the first thing I got, and I'm, you may have seen this on other channels, it's really heavy. It's the Hemi gouache. This, I'll put the price that I paid for these on Amazon on the screen. That's what it looks like. Oh, and the lid comes off. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. And then underneath there, each one of these is a paint. And it came with three brushes. And I will, I'll swatch these once I go through the other items that are in the package. But this really has me intrigued. I don't think they are um, color fast. I think they're more like student grade. It just says safe and non-toxic. Made in China. Shelf life 36 months. It has like a little color chart on here. But the writing on each one is so small. I'm looking to see if each one of these has. Yes, it has. It has the name on there. I I plan on using these primarily in my sketchbook, so I'm not too worried about that. And then the next thing I got, Liquitex has come out with a, a line of canvases that are recycled material made from recycled plastic bottles, uh, Liquitex Professional, Sustain a positive mark on our future. And then it just says recycled canvas. Triple primed. This canvas cloth is made from 100 recycled plastic bottles. Uh, suitable for both acrylic and oil. This high quality surface has been tested by professional artists and within our lab so you can create with confidence while reducing your impact on the environment. And the last thing I bought, as I mentioned, what these, are these are supposed to be, these are Paul Rubens, but they're the Haya, I think is how you pronounce it. And from what I read, they're, sp they're a little more like Cinelier, Cin Cinelier, Cin, you know what I mean. The FYI, the cardboard lid it doesn't seem as stiff as the other ones, and then of course it comes with the, then of course it comes with the color chart. Wow, and a swatching chart. That's cool. And here's the. Oh, they're in good shape. Looks like they moved a little bit. One of them got out of position. So this is what they look like. So let's go to the overhead and let's watch these and see what we, if that's something you're interested in. I have a swatch booklet that I made the last time or the last video. It's just a really easy project, but that way I can keep them all together. Okay, I let's go to the overhead and do some swatches real quick. Get to play. I wasn't sure. These are not priced bad. 
but I wasn't sure if they were something I was going to like, so I, I went kind of halfway. So it looks like they're also available in 12, 24, 48, or 36, 48, 60, and 72. So, I'll look at that later. Got a swatch card. Some of these I have difficulty reading the numbers on them. Like, where is the number on this one? Oh, it's right there. Oh, yeah, they're nice and soft. But I'm going to go through here and swatch all these. Yeah, they're a lot like the Cinelier. Cinelier? Cine, yeah. I'm going to go through and swatch all these. And I'll probably fast forward through this. And then tell you what I think at Tell you what I think afterwards so you don't have to hear me go ooh. If they have the colors, well, they're not listed on there. See, they're listed on the 12 and the 24, but not on the 36, 48, or 72. A few of my immediate observations, like this one, is this one, this 007. But if you looked at the packaging, you'd think it was a brown. And it's so dark, it's hard to hard to read. And some of them were a little streaky, like this green right here, and a few of the other ones. Yeah, like that green. Yeah, that green and that green were streaky. Looks like that green too. They have nice muted colors. That work well. I love this. I will create a piece with these in another video and let you know what I think after I do, after I actually use them in a project. Yeah, that was a little clumpy too. But it may layer really well over other colors. So like that, that, anyway, here's the, and I'll, I'll do some research on archivalness. I'm assuming they are not, just because they feel like they're more like student grade. It is made by mixing and grinding pure color powder and vegetable oil. Interesting. And I noticed it said, let more people like Chinese colors. And it gives you some techniques you can do here too. But I'll use these and let you know what I think in another video. But for the price and the, the, the texture they have, so far I like it. And on the, the pastels, if I just had turned it over, it lists all the colors. They're written really small, but I'm, I'm sure I could make it out. And that blue I had trouble with was a Prussian blue. I'm just going to jump in here real quick. And I was writing the names down of each color. The swatch card has the number, but it didn't have the color name. And I noticed that this one, these two, have the the exact same name. So just FYI, they may be the same color, but just a different value, but it doesn't say that. It's not labeled that. The numbers are different. This is 236 and this is 202. So I just thought that was interesting. I don't know if it's an error, translation thing, or what. So I don't know. How I feel about this case. 
this comes with. These are gouache paints. I don't know that I have purchased anything by this brand name before. I don't think so. Brushes don't feel bad. And they're just a synthetic. Yeah, this is a four. Four round. This is uh, uh, an eight. And this is a six flat. I think this is more like a filbert. Nice selection there. I like those. I'm going to have to go through and open each one of these. But I will say some of them are harder to open. They're more difficult than others. Like this, this one I'm having a time with. So if you are somebody with um, arthritis or any other issues with your the strength in your hands, I would just give you a heads up. Also, there's a lot on the lid and I really like to use this past this uh, palette knife the thing is if I scrape this off get the most off there I can I need to put this in here before I put it in the palette because if I do it afterwards there's not enough there's not enough lip there to uh, scrape the paint on and also, these are the lips of the containers are not flush with the paper on it. So, I'm using the, the palette knife to kind of get underneath there and pop up the edge. See, like that one came off really easy. I went through and I wrote down each one of the colors on my swatch card. Not familiar with uh, gouache. It dries flat. There's no gloss to it. I've seen a lot of people intermix these with their on their watercolor pieces. Use both. that you're supposed to no. you can put these back in there I don't know that I would put that back in there So my initial response on these, I, I like the color choices. I like how they reconstitute. They you can put water in it and it breaks down nice and easy. You don't have to force anything. I like the the mat. I did some color mixing up here. This right here, I wrote the wrong recipe. So I tried to cover it up with white gouache and 
can see it wasn't totally opaque. I need to do a an opaque test with a black line. That this was just I'm not I am not a wash expert. This is going to be a learning experience for me using these. But I like that they dry quickly. I can use this in my sketchbook for some studies and not have a lot of supplies with me like you would with if I were to take acrylics. Put my other brush in the brush qualities. This is the one I just used. And it did stain as easily, but that's that's to be expected with white bristles, especially if any of the paints have strong pigment. So I'll do a piece with these at a later date and let you know what I think about it, or we'll do a demonstration of me doing the painting. And that leaves us with this canvas. I'm going to go ahead and open it just so I can see what it feels like. If it feels plasticky, you know what I mean? I like the weight of it. It seems it seems like a good it's it has it's not flimsy in the least. Now let's see what goes there. Some water on it there. Corners. Gallery wrapped. I mean the back of it just looks like it looks like fabric and that's what it feels like. Good texture to it. Again, I'll I'll use this in a demo. Or and or I'll I'll let you know what I think about it after I've used it. But this was this was an interesting purchase. In case you missed the earlier, it's made out of recycled plastic bottles. So so that was today's haul. Oil pastels. We got some Paul Rubens. We got some Himini, 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 Himini. Himi. Excuse my messy desk. So, anyway, thanks for joining me today. Excuse my paint covered hands. It's a sign I'm doing work, right? I will see you all next time, and thanks for watching. I hope this helped in some way, and I'll let you know more later on about what I think about these materials, because I have never used this line of the Paul Rubens, the Haya, and the Hemi. Again, I've never used, but I'm hopeful about these. So, thank you for being here. Bye, all. Take care. Mm -hmm.